Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm going to show you guys how to get high score streaks in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. So, getting high score streaks can be extremely easy, but it honestly depends on how you play the game. And for the past couple of Call of Duties, playing the objective plays a huge part in obtaining high score streaks. And the same logic also applies to Black Ops 3. So, if you're really trying to get a Mothership or any one of the other high kill streaks in the game, I highly recommend playing game modes like Domination or Kill Confirm. Now, don't get me wrong, it can be done in Team Deathmatch because because I know there's some incredible players that are played in this game. But if you're an average player or a below average player, I recommend playing the objective to get high score streaks. So in Domination, you're going to get 50 XP for capturing a flag and 200 XP for capturing an enemy's flag. And you get even more XP for killing someone that was on your flag or on the enemy's flag. So Domination is overall just a very great game mode to obtain high score streaks. And in game modes like Kill Confirm, you're going to get 50 XP for confirming a tag or denying a dog tag. And if you just do that a whole bunch of times around the match you're bound to get a high score streak that's safe you don't die but they can all just stack up to help you get a high score streak now other game modes like ctf demolition or s and d will get you a lot of xp as well but you are risking getting killed and potentially ending your run and getting a high score streak which can get you kind of angry and throw you off your game for the rest of the day so another great tip is to play with as many friends as possible because obviously it's a lot better to play with a guy you can communicate with compared to a guy who you don't even know so try to party up with as many friends as possible possible and let them know what you're trying to do have everyone give call outs where they died etc and also another thing you can do is use the UAV score streak the UAV is really good because not only does it let you know where the other team is but it also gives you assist points so every time your team kills someone on the other team that's going to get you more points to help you get closer to the high score streak you want so to basically sum everything up it's good to play the objective but you also have to play it smart and tactically because if you rush for the flag or the bomb every time without checking your surroundings I guarantee the majority of the time you're gonna die so just play the game smart you also should be in a party with as many friends as possible and have everyone call out where they die or where someone might be set up at and finally use lower score streaks that will help you out and your team so that's what I've been doing lately and I've been getting some really good gameplay so I hope you guys did enjoy today's tips and tricks if you did don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe for the best Call of Duty Black Ops 2 videos that I could bring thank you all for watching I also want to say that I am gonna be playing the Black Ops 2 better this whole week I'm gonna be playing pretty much like like for hours basically so if you guys want to come play with me my gamer tag or my psn id is mr the reverts it's the same way spelled as my youtube name it's down in the description as well so just shoot me a message saying you want to play with me and i'll make sure to invite you out so yeah thank you for watching miners averts hope you guys have a great rest of the day till next time i'll catch y'all later